After a long trip, one of the best things to do is of course detail the interior of your car or like clean it at least. Uh, at least we got a nice little sunset going, I mean. But I'm gonna do this and then wash it, but I'm just gonna start on the inside and kind of clean it up. It's kind of, it's not, it's not that bad. I cleaned it before we went, but it, it needs a little detail. So I'm gonna use just the usual super basic microfiber with a total interior by Chemical Guys. I like this, it works on everything. You just spray it basically everywhere. It's bad, the front's got a lot of bugs. I'll show you guys a little before and after kind of shots and let's just cut to that. Vacuuming my car has slowly become one of my uh, one of my kind of you know relaxing things that I enjoy doing, which is a little strange because I never liked it before. But maybe it's because I'm 46 now. I'm getting old. Uh, I don't know, but it's it's okay now, I guess. So I, I gotta just let's just time lapse it. like that I'm all done vacuuming and it looks you know just a little bit better I mean I'll show you some shots now and let's roll into those and just like that the car is pretty much finished being cleaned in the inside I just did it quick and uh, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and wash the outside, which is gonna be pretty similar to the way that I usually do it. So I'll show you guys how it works with the uh, with the vinyl. I'll show you guys that the vinyl isn't getting ripped up. But yeah, we did have one issue that I'll have to tell you guys about maybe a little bit, unfortunately. But it's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now, and uh, we'll we'll catch you when we when we're washing it. Now it's time for the best part, of course, which is drying it. Of course, it's not the best part, but you know, it's satisfying to make sure there's no little spots because God, I'm sick of that, man. Like I had so many from the other day when it was raining that it, it, it was bad. So I'm gonna clean this up. I always start with the windows. If you guys are wondering, just like, I hate like streaky windows. There's nothing worse than that. So I start with the windows and then I'll go ahead and, of course the mirrors, but then I just go ahead and work my way around. Now the sun is really setting and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit sweat. I, my shirt was all, I don't know if you guys saw it in that last clip, if I'll put it in here, but yeah, it was, it was, yeah, I, did, I shouldn't have worn this shirt. But yeah, it's, it's so much better. It's finally clean. It, it was bad. It was, it was really bad. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but now it's good. It's pretty clean and you know, it's, it's hanging out. So let's talk about how much I spent on gas when I went on that trip because people were asking on my previous video about the road trip. If you guys haven't seen that one, then go ahead and check it out up here now, wherever it's gonna pop up. Make sure you do check that out because it was a, it was a fun video to make. You know, it was a good time for me. And uh, yeah, so I wanna share it with you guys. So the gas on it was actually pretty interesting. So let me just sit down and talk about it and I'll actually break down the exact numbers for you. All right, so let's break it down for you guys. What was it? How much did it cost? So I had made a previous video talking about gas mileage and I was showing like 13 miles per gallon. But in my previous video with the road trip, I did talk about the gas mileage itself where I did range between 19 and like 22-ish, which is insane for a 392 scat. But you have to remember I was driving on the highway hundreds of miles so it will end up going up. Uh, obviously eco mode did make a pretty big difference not like a huge difference to where it's like 29 versus 19 but you know 22 to 19 a few uh, a few miles per gallon difference which is 
pretty pretty good to me I guess it's not that bad so I'm actually gonna bring up my actual uh, bank here and see what I spent as far as gas goes because uh, I want to give you guys the exact number. So two days before I left, I put $52.42 in, which filled it up. Over the next day of driving, I ended up putting a, a little bit more mileage on the car, and I ended up putting another $24. I think I was down around maybe around a half a tank or like a three quarters of a tank, something like that. It wasn't it wasn't super bad or super low. So right there, we are at. 52.42 and then another 24.45 so those two numbers together uh <laughs> let me quickly do that 76 dollars and 87 cents for that initial fill up when i went um, usually it's going to be roughly like 70 dollars ish to fill this thing up from like gaslight to full uh, at least in my experience that's what i've been paying and what i've been getting obviously the gas prices are going to differ depending on where you are but for me that's kind of what i'm paying i think i'm roughly paying between like 330 and like 360 a gallon for premium 93 here but when i went away uh when i was in new york even though i was in upstate new york it was a rough i want to say i paid like four dollars and ten cents a gallon so basically i did that initial fill up that day drove up there so when i drove there uh i was fine for pretty much the whole weekend i don't think i needed to put gas in the whole weekend until the night before I was leaving where I filled up again and at that point I put at that point I put $68.38 to fill it from where it was gaslight was not on at this point and then I just went ahead and filled it up there so now we got another $68.38 so now we're at $145.25 and that was for me to drive there and then fill up and drive back but by the time I got back I was out of gas again, so I had to get more gas. So that was another $61.84. So all in all, even though that last $60 or so is kind of being used now, I still had to do it because I spent the gas on the way back, if that makes sense. So $207.09 in gas for me to take that trip. Um, I wanna say, like I said, it was like probably 700 miles in the end. I said like a thousand plus, but you know, yeah, it's a little clickbait, it's just a little bit of exaggeration for the content, but I thought it was gonna be a thousand miles, it wasn't quite, but either way, with that amount of mileage, uh, $207 for basically three fill up. So if we do a little bit of math there and then we divide that by three, that's roughly $69 per fill up. So like I said, I'm paying roughly like $70 per fill up to fill it all the way up. So this thing does slurp up gas and it is pretty expensive to fill it up. So yeah, that's kind of what I was working with. I spent a couple hundred dollars on gas just to go there, which, you know, is uh, smiles per gallon, baby. That's what I always say. You know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I had a f fun time. I had a blast. It was great. And uh, yeah, we're on to the next content, baby. We're creating and we're having fun. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one. Of course, click the subscribe button. Click the like button down below. But that's about it. Peace.